Hello, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy Let's Play. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just kind of YOLO the Behemoth King. So, let's do that, shall we? So, the spawn conditions are in the Edge of Reason, which we're about to zone into. He's going to be there, but only if we do a couple of different things here. Um, we're going to kill the the kind of like little T-Rex that spawns in the middle of this area, then go to the area past it, which is technically north. Um, and we gotta clear a bunch, we gotta basically clear the area. So let's do that. Let's see if we can find who we're looking for here. Okay, I don't see who we're looking for. That's not great. Be right here in the middle. This can be a bit annoying to try to, to try to kill, but or I'm sorry, to try to spawn. Huh. Okay. I guess we're gonna learn together. kind of running all over this area. Oh, here he is. Okay. Let's see where this is. Oh, weird. He's down here. Okay. Okay. Kill that guy. Of course, I'm going the wrong way. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Okay, now we've got to come in here and kill a bunch of things here. Basically everything that we see. Including respawns from what I understand, so could be wrong there though. It may not, that may not be needed though if we just kill, if we've done it the way I've done it here. I don't know for sure, though, obviously. We'll get Redis um, prepared here in a minute as well. Lots of treasures in here still. Obviously, most of them are not all that wonderful, but... I'm just kind of going back and forth, and we're going to hope this is good enough. Otherwise, we're going to be spending a lot of time trying to, uh, trying to spawn this guy. Ether, that's nice. Well, as you can see, I don't know if these are guys I already killed or did not, but there's plenty of stuff to kill again. I guess we're going to continue to walk around until I feel like we've definitely cleared everything. Sickle Blade's a rare drop. And by that I mean it's a monograph drop, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to kind of wander around here. So far, we're looking pretty decent. As far as everything being killed. If we're lucky, we'll... Oh, okay, here's something. If we're lucky, we'll be able to walk in here, and... He'll be there. 
Now he can put up like an Im immunity to uh, both physical and uh, magic, and he'll switch between the two. Apparently, you can cast uh, a rise. Okay, she can't do it, but I mean he can't do it, but uh, yeah, a rise two times for some reason will uh, will trigger him to switch. I just read that. I'm I've never would have never tried that. Okay, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna walk around one more time here. I think it's in our best interest to make sure this area is fully cleared. So I'll go all the way back one more time here. Okay, good thing we didn't zone. That would have been bad. Okay, well here's something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, you do it right, he shows up. You do it wrong, he doesn't. So. But the thing that I just read basically said you don't have to clear both areas. You just have to make sure you kill that tyrant thing down there. Okay, I guess we're going to try it. Let's hope for the best. Now, if we've done this properly, he should be down here on the, the southern edge. I don't know if all mobs disappear. It certainly doesn't appear that way. Got a little lag there. Kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, now this guy's back, so that's not what we want. So... It would appear that that was not good. I'm going to assume that he's not here, but in, in addition to that, I'm just going to walk around and kill stuff, because if he is here and I walk out, that's going to suck. I don't know if everything else despawns, and since I don't know that information, it's uh, in my best interest to just walk around and kill stuff. Kind of a waste of time, unfortunately, but... At this point, we don't really have a choice. I'd like to knock him out. It shouldn't be that that terribly difficult. And if it is, that'll be a nice surprise. But just walking back and forth between these zones isn't going to... You shouldn't reset either one of them. But yeah, there's probably a way to do this a little quicker. I thought I was I thought I was on that route, but it would appear that that did not work for us, at least not this time. And as you can see, there's still plenty of respawns, which is not exactly what we want to see. What we definitely don't want to do is zone south. Will y'all stop that, please? Excuse 
Excuse me? Okay, let's zone here. My guess is there's gonna be monsters here. There has to be, because otherwise that should have spawned them. Of course, she cast shell on herself. Wonderful. You can really run out of magic really quick doing this. Just having all these different things cast constantly, as you can as you can see here, I mean, obviously. Okay, this this zone still looks pretty clear. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe not. Okay, well one thing I can definitely tell you is Well, last thing I want to do is start out that far behind. Okay, we'll run again where I think he should be, roughly. Which is down here somewhere. Is that him? Okay, we finally got him. There he is. So let me slow it down. Um, I will steal, but we want to have the power armlet on, so if he does end up getting stop off on us... Uh, it won't affect us. So let's, uh, look at that. There he is. Beautiful. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? I want white magic and dispel. Okay. And then we want to immediately put on what? The power bracelet? Okay. Let's do that next. Or power armlet, whatever it is. So he definitely has some health, as you can see here. Now, if we want to have a little bit of fun. This could backfire on us. Okay, I have... Now I have reverse. Oh. Never mind, that isn't gonna work. Cause he just took it off. That might kill us, but we'll be okay. Hopefully. People are getting murdered. Um, let's go ahead and have Redis um, berserk up here real quick. So this is definitely going to take some time, for sure. Uh, another thing that we could do is uh, perhaps have her... What am I doing? Um, decoy. Okay, she hit that first try, so that's pretty good. So we'll, we'll try to turn him and make sure he's not, like, towards the rest of them. So, he's, he's not even at half health yet. Okay, let's just speed this up here. We'll see how we do. If we die, we die, but... I'm surprised we still have more. Okay. He hasn't gone physical immune yet. Okay, he's got um, he's got protect back up, so let's let's dispel to protect and shell is up. Okay, he's immune now, so now we're going to try this trick. Arise, huh? Okay. 
Okay, come on now. Okay, this is dangerous because our cure is the one that we're using to cast a rise on him. Now let's see if he switches back after she casts this. Okay, I don't believe that worked. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right. I'm doing this a little bit uh, manually right now. So let's, oops, that's not what I want. Um, let's do decoy on Vaughn. So he's immune to magic, I think, right now, but we're still doing okay. This is definitely a, a more, a, obviously, a more challenging fight than some of the other ones we've fought, for sure. Okay, we need her to go ahead and get Protectra up. What is she doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, great. I didn't hit. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Let's go ahead and do. Um, let's do decoy again. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of this manually, as you can probably tell. Alright, I think we're good now. Now, here's where we're going to have some fun, alright? Here's where we're going to have a little fun. We're going to go into our mists. Now, we could do a summon, uh, but we're going to do a quickening. I'm going to see if I can do better. Let's, let's find out. That was the tier three of his. Let me show you. Well, we got a tier three of Franz coming up. Now I'll probably mess this up because I have so little practice with it, but it's still pretty cool looking. It's up. It's right trigger, not right bumper, or maybe it was left trigger. Right now, I don't even remember. Uh, I lost a lot of time on that. It is right trigger. Please. Uh, we got nothing off that barely. Alright, well, this is not going to do a whole lot of damage. I doubt this will kill him. It was really unfortunate. He's almost dead. Should be okay unless he does something really bad to us. I mean, he's quite literally dead, but you can see how funny it is that we can't finish him off. There it is. 40 LP. Okay, well, we killed him. If I hadn't messed up that chain, sometimes I wonder if it's better to do like level ones because you can get a really long chain with a level like level one starting and then go into like twos and threes. So maybe I'll do that next time. But there it is, okay? So that's him completed. Excellent. Okay, so we can exit back out here. 
Guruvagan. Guruvagan. I think that's how they pronounce it. Of course I went the wrong way, but that, once again, probably would not come as a surprise to most people that have been watching this series. Okay. So we'll turn that in, and then we're going to prepare for our journey through the depths of the the final depths of the Hina Mines, which there are quite a few chests that are uh, worth going to get, as well as Zodiac. And remember, you can steal uh, a ridiculously rare item. Uh, it's the Great uh, Trango. It's uh, an invisible sword that's a dev item. Uh, it's only a 6% chance with the uh, with the Thieves' Cuffs. And I forgot to steal from that guy, I think. Maybe I did. I don't even remember. Uh, where are we going? Uh, where was this? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. What am I talking about? Oh, no, I don't. I messed up. That's not where I wanted to go. Where did we get this? Oh, and I don't know if you remember when I said something about the skull. That skull in... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Mount, whatever. Well, it actually comes into play right here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, right, he's in there. So it is, this was right. Wow, how about that? So even when I thought I was going the wrong way, I actually went the right way. Yay. Cause this guy doesn't really give you anything for it. Now I don't know if you if you're supposed to do this before or after. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of um, discovery here, basically that skull that I pointed out on Mount uh, Bar Baramos. Bar <laughs> I can never remember the names of these things. Baramis. How are you say it? I really just, I'm so terrible with names, um, or pronunciations, I should say. Okay, we have that saved to back up to if it doesn't work uh, the way I think it's going to work. But I think what you do is you turn this in, you don't get basically anything. And then you walk up to that skull with no weapon equipped, apparently, and you get the real reward for this. Which I think is kind of funny, because again, how would anybody know that? Unless it does give you hints and I've just missed it because I, I haven't been paying attention or something. Oh, there you go. There's the there's the hint right there. By Slayer's hand. Two hundred and fifty gold gill, nice. Okay. Well, I knew I remembered something about that skull. Now we'll go and do it just to show it off, basically, right? Because obviously that's what that's what we do here. So that's obviously a terrible reward. Not that the real reward is all that terribly much better. Let me look at this so I can see if I can pronounce this correctly. Mount Burro Baramias. Baramias? Baramase? I hell I don't know. Anyways. Pronunciations. Most definitely not my strongest suit. But So we'll take that weapon off, and then we'll walk up to it. So remember, it's this skull right here. I believe that's the skull. Hell, I don't I think it is. Yep. This probably doesn't even appear until after you beat Behemoth King. 
Oh, look at that. 500,000 gil. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Like, obviously, I don't need the money, but... And a rod of faith. Not bad. Okay. That's a lot better um, of a weapon. I do say so myself. Or if I do say so myself. Mess that one up, too. There's our worm hero blade. 50 evade. That's so amazing. That's an amazing sword. And we have two Excaliburs now. It's too bad no one else can use it. Okay. Amazing. So that has now been completed. I'm going to guess there's probably another follow-up. Either that or uh, we won't be getting any more just based off of where we are in the story. But before we go anywhere else, let's jump to Jahara. So in order to get this unlocked, the, the, the lowest depths of uh, the Hinna Mines, just for an, a reminder, um, you basically, first you have to have um, defeated the Mind Flayer Hunt. You've also needed to obtain 10 Espers, which if you don't get the Espers that we're getting, like Ultima and Chaos, they would assume that you're going to go through the story. I don't know if this is it or not. Let's see. I don't think that... No, this is a different quest. This is a quest where you go find, like, chicks, I think. But I'm not doing that one. Because the rewards for that are so terrible. Okay, we're looking for... Gareth Geomancer. I don't know where he is. So we're going to have to wander, wander around until I can find him. Geomancer. Um, is that, like, the main, main guy? It's either on the right or straight ahead of us right here. Let's let's check here first. I think it'll be maybe this guy. No, that's the great chief. Hmm. Is it this guy over here? Probably not. I don't remember where he is. So we're just gonna have to run around. I don't think he's back here, but. Okay, I must have missed him. The Gareth Geoman Geomancer. There he is. The depths of the Hinna Mines, there we go. Okay, and just so you know where he is, that's where he is on the map. Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to explore that area. Um, and if there are hunts that we need to pick up, I may start with uh, picking up those new hunts. But for now, uh, that is where we will... Actually, I'm just going to teleport in there. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Hit of mines. We'll teleport in there. We'll save. Uh, there's going to be a number of chests. There should be a gun upgrade at the very least. Again, I could be doing the trial to get uh, upgrades. I'm I'm still not quite sure if I'm going to um, if I'm going to run the trial uh, on camera or not. Uh, I may still do it. I may not do it. I'm still not quite sure where I stand on that. So, but anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.